This video is sponsored by Videoblocks. Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell. Now, before we jump into this creepy featurette, I want to talk about a service that I love and use regularly, and that's Videoblocks. If you're a professional editor or a filmmaker on a budget, you know how it is when you need to bring a project to a close on time and on budget. Sometimes we just can't get all the shots we need, especially if we can't afford that extra day on rentals and crew. That's where Videoblocks comes in. Videoblocks has one of the fastest growing largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, After Effects, and motion backgrounds. This includes the only contributor marketplace that gives 100% of the commission back to the artists. And if that wasn't good enough, all of the clips come with a royalty-free agreement, so you'll never be hit with copyright claims. This is the greatest thing ever. Videoblocks is offering my viewers a free 7-day trial, so you can all sign up and get access to their massive video Video library and royalty-free license for free. Go to videoblocks.com slash YouTube or click the link in the description box below to start downloading now. This is Franklin Town Road, one of the main thoroughfares that passes through Leakin Park, a 1,216-acre densely wooded area in Baltimore, Maryland. Since 1946, roughly 80 bodies have been discovered here. Locals refer to Leakin Park as Baltimore's open-air cemetery. In hopes of preventing further illegal activity from occurring inside the park, the more secluded interior roads were barricaded and all the roadsides blocked off. Although these measures help decrease illegal activity, bodies do still turn up. On the 27th of July, 2017, a body was discovered on the side of this road. Police found a male victim with signs of trauma to his head. The wilderness within the park is a beautiful sight, a quiet place bordered on all sides by the chaos of the city. The abandoned interior roads, once a graveyard of discarded bodies, are now peaceful, yet retain the feel of an ominous and dark past. In this documentary, I will explore the forests and roadsides where so many bodies have been found. Okay, let's go back. The ditch is here, but in a little further back, you can see it from here. You go a little past this, you go up, and then beyond that, there's another little hollow. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. It's just an intermittent stream here, only when it rains. But for some reason, they put a poured concrete wall over here to control erosion, so there might have been a structure 
over here at some point in time, an old house maybe. Yeah. I mean, why else would you put it there? Well, at least an outbuilding of some type. Right. Animal or human? What are you talking about? A uh, carcass or a foot? Well, no, 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 no. There's, there's a trail right there, and oh, there uh, looks uh, like there's print in the mud. I would say it's probably the deer. Deer. Oops. Yep. Yeah. So, Rick, why don't you tell everyone what you're doing? All right, so I'm running a digital recorder, and I have headphones on, and theoretically, if you would play back this recording and something was on the recording you could hear that you didn't hear when it was actually being recorded, that's a electronic voice phenomenon or EVP. But see, this is actually a recorder, so when you're doing this, you're actually recording. You're not doing EVPs. Let's try to actually say the right words, unlike television shows. Let's do some EVPs! Oh, do you mean record or take a photograph or a video? I don't know, I'm doing EVPs, motherfucker! All right, well, I'm sorry. I, what in the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, deer. No, deer. That's all I see are deer tracks. This this just like looks like a place you find a body. That just sounds like a gunfire exchange. Rick, 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 Rick. Just stay back here. They're back on this fucking road. Come on. That was a gunfight. Hold this. Just face it forward. It's filming.
jump. Y'all step back for me. Expanding this. You had a close. You got to back out. Up down here. Yeah, we need to block the intersection. You know what happened? See, I'm old and okay, I live man. on Winterbourne. I can't go that way. How the devil am supposed to go home? Calm down. Calm down. Any clue what happened? No, sir. Press apartments. Just really no, I had left all about a half an hour to go to the store and it was just sitting right here in the corner of Baker and right here at the corner? That's what she Man, said what with happened? those cases that What happened? Oh, oh I don't know. Don't put me on that. I just came back home. The the, cop, the lady cop said it was right there. Those are the casings, yeah. You see anything happen? No, don't put that camera on me. Oh, <laughs> people are shy. They don't want to be camera on camera. They want to be off camera. No, don't put me on. I'm you know, real. If, if this wasn't picked up because it was such a busy time, this was like three in the morning. One of the, the body that was left behind, assuming one succumbed to the gunfire play, might have been taken to Lincoln Park. That could have been one of the histories of one of these bodies dumped there. Yeah. From one of these streets, just a couple hundred yards away. Something stinks. Let me just walk over here. I definitely smell something dead. But I don't... Cool. Hmm. 
missed that. Looks like a... That's not a rock. some bones there. Those are animal bones. Man, I'm getting freaked out right now. Oh, God, there's more bones. everywhere. Damn, it stinks, man. Something's dead up here. I don't see it anywhere. Please don't say.
further of its bill road. There's a tree that fell down. What was that? <gasps> oh, it's a deer. Jesus. I just saw, I just saw two eyes. And, uh, pretty sure it was a deer. Yeah, there it is. I think that's a deer. There's a really uh, strong smell of sewage that uh, is the reason why Right, I'm, I'm deaf. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I don't know what that was. It's, it's 
really creepy. I just pulled off the road. Check this little I don't know what is in there. Feels like there's a, maybe a dead animal inside of this. It's definitely one thing. Oh, <laughs> oh it's something. It's a. Uh, 
I don't know what is what's in there. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm afraid to even open it and look. definitely something in there that's it's an animal maybe uh, I'm gonna check hi what's going on you okay yeah I'm fine I'm just doing a documentary hey there's there's a bag over here that I think there's something in it. It's probably a dog. How big is it? Uh, I don't know. It's 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 small. It's not very big. I'm just doing a documentary. Yeah, it's probably garbage. Like people would dump garbage. I don't think it's garbage. Well, welcome to open it. See how it's moved? <laughs> it, should we open it? I mean, it's probably a dog. It's definitely not. You can if you want. Let me see if I have something to open it with. Just, oh, you got a thing there. It's a dog? It's like a cat or something. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Ugh. That's horrible. Yep. Sure is. Good Lord. That's perfect timing. You say, where are the police when you need them? And there they are. All right, that was the scary shit. I knew when I, I knew when I kicked the bag that there was something in it uh, that was not trash. Uh, but uh, with the story of the dead infant that was found Franklin Town Road, you never know. But. Uh, You know, I suppose it had been something.